Lift off. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Eight. Side booster ignition. Six. And we're here at SpaceX's headquarters in Hawthorne, California. You're looking at a live view of Falcon 9 as it awaits its 3.31 p.m. Eastern Time launch from Space. Who just who joined us yesterday, you know that we got all the way down to T minus 11 seconds, but had to stand down from our launch attempt due to your rotary aircraft entering the keep out zone. We are expecting the airways to stay clear today and looking forward to having Falcon 9 deliver the 85 spacecraft and three Starlink satellites on board to orbit. Now this includes CubeSats, microsats and orbital transfer vehicles, sometimes called space tugs, which would deploy their spacecraft after separating from Falcon 9. Today's launch is SpaceX's second polar lo orbit launch from the East Coast, and only the second polar trajectory since the late 1960s flown out of Cape Canaveral. A polar orbit is one in which satellites pass above the North and South Poles, as opposed to the equator. SpaceX has worked closely with the Air Force and the FAA to create a trajectory that meets the necessary safety requirements for flight. So far, everything's looking like a great day for a rocket launch at the Cape. Uh, and with liftoff in just under 10 minutes, let's take a closer look at Falcon 9. The two-stage vehicle is standing about 229 feet tall, or slightly taller than a 21-story building. It's named after the Millennium Falcon from, the Star, from Star Wars, and the number nine indicates the number of Merlin 1D engines on the first stage. Today's mission is the eighth flight for this particular booster. That bottom two-thirds of the vehicle is the first stage. Its objective is to accelerate the vehicle through the Earth's atmosphere to space and then separate from the rest of the rocket. From there, it will make its way back to Earth and target a landing on land this afternoon on landing zone one, which is the pad that you see on screen right now. And if you're an Eastern Florida resident, you might even be able to see Falcon 9 over the ocean and, or also hear one or more of the sonic booms as Falcon 9 makes its way back to land. Good second stage to separate during flight. And then on top of the inner stage is the Falcon 9 second stage, which takes the payload to its eventual destination in orbit. After the first stage separates about two and a half minutes into flight, the second stage will then carry the 88 spacecraft to orbit. Similar to the first transporter mission, we'll be flying a fuel dome payload tray, which is essentially a small platform mounted on the back end of the second stage fuel dome that will release a handful of spacecraft today. This is worth mentioning as we expect this tray to obstruct one of our two MVAC views during flight. At the top of the rocket, you'll notice a large nose cone. This is called the fairing. Encapsulated inside the fairing are all, are all 88 satellites, protecting them until the vehicle is outside of the Earth's atmosphere, at which point the fairing separates to expose the satellites to space. For today's mission, our fairing is making its third flight, and we're also going to be attempting to recover cover the fairing halves from the water following landing with our chartered recovery vessel, HOS Briarwood. The chief engineer held a technical poll at T minus 60 minutes and the launch director held a propellant load and launch go no go poll at T minus 38 minutes. Since the T minus 35 minute mark, Falcon 9 has been loading propellants. Uh, the vehicle is a bi-propellant vehicle, which means it uses two types of propellants. For fuel, a refined form of kerosene called RP1. And for oxidizer, super chill liquid oxygen, we also refer to that as LOX. Volume in the tanks created by the engine pumps pulling propellant out of the stage. A few seconds ago, engine chill began. 
uh, began. This is where we uh, opened the pre-valves between the first stage prop tanks and the nine Merlin engines. This allows a little bit of cold liquid oxygen to flow into the turbo pumps, bringing them down to a temperature close to that of the super chill propellant that will soon be flowing through the engines at liftoff. We're at T minus six minutes and 30 seconds in counting. The vehicle is healthy. We're tracking no issues so far. The range is standing by to support and the weather is green for today's liftoff. All systems continue to be go for an on-time liftoff at 3 31 p.m. Eastern Stage time. One, RP1 load is complete. Today's launch will mark SpaceX's 20th mission of the year and the 127th mission to date. Of the nine missions flown so far this year, 18 were on reuse. Reusability allows SpaceX to fly the most expensive parts of the rocket, which in turn drives down the cost of space access. It also allows us to increase our launch cadence and provide more flight Falcon Heavy, as well as Starship in the not-too-distant future. We are under five minutes. From liftoff, Falcon 9 is now moving into the final stages. The strongback is part of the transporter erector, also called the TE. The TE's job is to roll Falcon, Falcon 9 out to the launch pad, raise it to a vertical launch position, also route power, fluids, and communication to both the rocket and satellite. The TE has a launch mount that the first stage is clamped to, and the strongback that is hinged to that launch mount. And you can start to hear the hiss and pop of pressure venting from the rocket and the plumbing in the transporter erector. At this stage, the strongback should be reclined to its pre-launch position, again, two degrees away from the vehicle. We are just over three minutes until liftoff. The vehicle remains in good health. The first and second stages are is the chilling of the Merlin turbo pumps. About a minute before liftoff, you will hear the announcement that Falcon 9 is in startup, which means that the rocket's own internal flight computers are now autonomously controlling the launch countdown. And this is a great shot of the fairing. And inside that fairing, again, are the 88 spacecraft uh, as part of the Transporter 2 mission. Weather remains green. The range is also standing by to support. And as a reminder, if we don't get the opportunity to launch today, we do have a backup opportunity tomorrow at the same time. Stage two, lock load is complete. 
And there was the call up for second stage locks loading complete. That is the last of propellant loading. Falcon 9 is now fully fueled and ready for liftoff in about a minute and 40 seconds. You can start to see some white clouds starting to form around Falcon 9. That is normal and expected for us at this stage in the countdown when the dense, started. when the dense cold liquid oxygen meets the warmer ambient air of Florida, it begins to condense and form the white clouds that you see on screen. Falcon is in startup. Falcon 9 is in startup. You can start to hear some of the cheers here in Hawthorne. Uh, the first and second stages are beginning to pressurize for launch. Falcon 9, transporter 2, LD is go for launch. That was the launch director giving the final go for launch. We are T minus 30 seconds from liftoff. Let's tune into terminal count and watch as the transporter 2 mission begins. T minus 15 seconds. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition and lift off. Vehicles pitching down range. Chamber pressure is nominal. We are T plus 42 seconds into flight. Falcon 9 has cleared its tower, and we're currently throttling uh, down in preparation for max Q. That should be coming up in about 20 seconds. Max Q is where the vehicle will experience the highest amount of aerodynamic pressures. Falcon 9 is supersonic. Max Q. And you heard the call out. We've passed the period of maximum aerodynamic pressure. Falcon 9 is now headed south uh, okay. along the Florida coast. All is looking good with the first trajectory. We have five events coming up in quick succession in about a minute. Uh, the first is the main engine cutoff, also known as Nico, uh, followed by stage separation. Low. Hey. So... Uh, followed by stage separation, where the two stages will separate from one another. Uh, the first stage will then perform a flip to head back towards Florida, and uh, the, the MVAC engine on the second stage will uh, perform second engine start one and ignite that MVAC engine. Then the hey. first stage will also begin its first of three burns, Boy the boost back burn. Woo! Woo! And this is a view from the top of uh, okay. Falcon 9 looking yeah. down towards the nine Merlin engines at the bottom of the first stage. Well, woohoo! We have it! We have Nico. It is confirmed. No, is this aggression? No, I don't know what I'm looking at. But we do have Nico! Uh, and there you uh, saw on screen we had successful stage separation. The first stage started performing its flip maneuver. And the boost back burn uh, should be ending in about 25 seconds.
yesterday, if you haven't heard, we had a delay in flight because um, we have a boost back burn. Stage one boost back shut down. And there was confirmation of a successful boost back burn. Again, that is the first of three burns for the first stage. Coming up next is fairing deploy in a few seconds here. So if you're watching this, you're like from the top of the second 10 stage. Ten seconds or more. Yeah, woohoo! Yes. Woohoo! Burn separation confirmed. We had it. We had stage separation. Oh, look at they've got all those satellites. And <laughs> off come the two fairing halves. And they have separated and fallen away from and, the vehicle, oh, exposing the 88 spacecraft to the vacuum Booster of space. As a reminder, down. the recovery vessel, Ooh. HOS Briarwood, will be attempting to recover the fairing half today from the water. Okay. So we are about T plus four minutes and 20 seconds into flight. We have a couple of views on so, screen. On the right hand side is a view of our second stage Merlin vacuum oh, engine, also known as it. the MVAC engine. It's currently in the first Ooh. of two MVAC burns. This burn should last for uh, until the T plus eight minute and 24 we second mark. It. About another Ooh. four minutes left on this burn. So that was great. But And uh, the next milestone will be for the first stage to perform its entry burn. That's what you're seeing on the left-hand side of your screen. Falcon 9 needs to execute an entry burn to slow itself down before hitting the dense parts of the atmosphere. And without this burn, relying on the atmosphere alone to slow Falcon 9 down would put unnecessary strain on the rocket. Vehicle is on a nominal trajectory. Vehicle is on a nominal trajectory. And the call out for a nominal ILO. trajectory. Everything's looking great so far on the Transporter 2 mission. Seriously, wish you could move from the spot. It is life, and I can't move from the spot apparently. And of course, we now. You also notice some honeycomb like structures have deployed uh, on the first stage on the left hand side. If you're uh, that, anyone that, those knows are our four our hypersonic grip fins positioned at the base of the inner stage. They, they help to orient the rocket during re entry by moving the center of pressure. Um, there's also some plumes of gas coming out. Uh, this is cold nitrogen gas, which helps with attitude and control. Both control are essential system. to make sure that we have a or nice RC, targeted RCS. landing back on landing zone one later on in today's mission. The second burn, the entry burn is coming up in about 30 seconds. Watch for that on the left hand side. Uh, you can also uh, see there's a speedometer of sorts uh, on the bottom left hand side that tracks the speed of the first stage and when we begin the entry burn we'll start to reduce the speed and shortly after the entry burn ends um, we'll hit the denser parts of the atmosphere and also begin to further reduce our velocity as the first stage continues to make its way back towards earth okay yes we have entry burn stage two FTS is saved Stage one entry burn start up. Ooh, the vehicle is coming down. I really want to watch this from my There's TV. the call out, and you can see on screen three Merlin engines have relit and are currently slowing down the first stage. This burn is expected to last yeah. for another 15 seconds or so. Vehicle on a nominal trajectory. Stage one entry burn shut down. and successful completion of our second of three burns. Good job. As I mentioned earlier, we are gonna be attempting to recover the booster for an eighth time back on land at landing zone one. The first stage, stage has one more burn left, and the landing it burn. It, it begins Please, just before we touch down and provides okay. the booster with a soft descent before we land. Okay, at wait, the same I time will, Falcon yeah. lands, we are expecting well, sequel one later, of our second stage. That's second engine cutoff. Um, and shortly after that, we'll be entering a coast phase. And you can see the Florida coast and landing zone one are approaching on the left-hand side of the screen as this booster yeah, no, 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 makes no, its yeah, attempt it's down, to land one down. eighth time. Oh, this is a great shot of the first stage coming down with its landing zone. Stage two internal guidance. Yes! 
Page one. Oh my good boy. Uh, that was as smooth as I'd seen it. Uh, we had phenomenal shots all the way through the landing burn. You heard the sonic booms. This booster has landed for the eighth time. Uh, that is the 89th recovery of an orbital class rocket. Page one, nominal landing confirmed. And what a way to start nominal off the Transporter 2 mission. Uh, at the same time, we did have successful second stage, uh, second engine cutoff and confirmation of a nominal orbital insertion. We are now going to coast for the next 45 minutes or so while we wait for second engine start two. Uh, just a few minutes after that, we'll begin to deploy the 88 spacecraft on board this mission. We will see you back here around the T plus 53 minute and 30, uh, 30 second mark. Well, we have literally landed. Well, I don't think so. I, can, I think it's gonna send me a pop where I came for the music when I don't even use it. So basically, well, it's the end for me on my live stream. Uh, well, I will make a copy. I'll be making a highlight video for this live stream too. Well, that is it for me. I got so much work to do, and I one minute. I don't think so. Expected loss of signal. Cape. Anyways, I was attempting to do it yesterday, and I lost power. Yes.